Hello everyone. Recently I did a video on rewrapping an unprotected 18650 cell or battery and uh, it came out really nice. I was really impressed with it. But uh, today I'm going to do a video on rewrapping a uh, protected cell. So this one has protection circuitry. The one I rewrapped does not. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, uh, dissect this cell, take the uh, wrap off of this and rewrap this uh, Nikor, this is a Nikor 3400 milliamp hour protected NL189 and it's based around the Panasonic NCR 18650B that I have here. It's one of these should be inside it. Uh, but regardless, uh, I never liked the wrap on it anyway. It's, it was kind of uh, messy from the start, from the day I got it. And I've been wanting to rewrap it. And uh, since you guys really like the uh, unprotected rewrap video, I'm going to give you the protected uh, 18650 cell rewrap video. Let's take a close look at this Nikkor NL189, uh, the 3400 milliamp hour cell, as we see here, and uh, and the wrap in its current state. I, I never actually liked the wrap on this thing. I always thought it was uh, a little cheap, as you can see. It looks like it's almost like it's been, uh, it's almost like a piece of tape wrapped around it. I'm not sure how to describe it, but uh, this is the only cell I have that the actual wrap has a seam on it uh, from the front to the back, number one. Number two, you got all this, creasing at the top here that I never liked. I, I just hated that. So uh, again, I don't like that. And if you look at the edge here along the back, you see that there's metal or a metallic color to it. Now I tested it to see if it's conductive and it's it's not. It's not shorting to the battery. It's just like a, a it's almost like this is a, a, a a metal mylar wrapped around this uh, actual cell. So I always wanted to get rid of that. So we're going to unwrap this. But before we unwrap it, the, you know, and you unwrap any cell, it's best to, to especially a protected cell, because there'll be a protection circuit either on the top or on the bottom of the cell. And it's, it's going to be hard to measure that after you've taken it apart. It's much easier to measure it before you uh, peel the wrap off of it. So uh, I'm going to measure its length so I can actually cut a proper length of tubing for it. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm measuring from the top edge of the cell to the bottom edge of the cell. And I'm getting a 68.35, 68.35 millimeters. And uh, you can convert that to, to uh, Imperial on the net if you wish. Just find a metric conversion and, and go from there. Uh, I may put the metric uh, conversions here on the screen as a graphic, but for now, 68.35. And notice that I am going from the top edge to the bottom edge. The reason for that is uh, if you go from the button to the bottom, you'll get a, a larger uh, uh, measurement. So let's do that so you can see that. Okay, so from the button to the bottom of the cell, uh, we've got 69.03. So yeah, we have a different measurement. It's slightly higher, but we're not wrapping the button. We're wrapping the actual... Uh, canister that holds uh, everything together and so the first measurement was the better one uh, 68.35 I believe and uh, you want to measure from the edge to the bottom and uh, you know maybe you, want, you may even want to measure the diameter if you want to see if it's thinner or, or thicker uh, but really what matters is the length of the cell and we do that before we rip the uh, actual um, sleeve off or the wrap off of it because there are there is a protection circuit in this and uh, when all that comes apart and uh, you you want to be able to put it back together and get more or less the same length on the actual cell so next we're going to take the uh, wrap off this cell one thing to watch out for on a protected cell when you're uh, removing the wrap is the uh, pro uh, well actually a few things the protection circuit on the bottom you need to be careful with that and usually if well this one, I, I, I'm assuming the protection circuit's on the bottom. Some of them have them on the top, but either way, be very careful either way. But um, if the protection circuit's on the bottom, there'll be a, uh, a like a flat ribbon cable going from the, the uh, top to the bottom. And you want to make sure that you don't cut that when you're actually uh, taking the, the uh, uh, wrap off the cell. So I'm going to be as careful as possible with this and, uh, you know, um, I think I'm going to, you can feel it. I'm going to feel around and see if I can feel where that trace is. I believe it's right here. That's the seam. I may go along the seam. Yeah, I may, I may peel along the seam here. I think the trace is right here, but you can feel for it and, and see, see it. I mean, 
really hard to tell. I, I can feel something here. So I'm thinking that the trace is somewhere around here. So I'm going to uh, cut it open the, along here and being real careful on the ends and on the top. Okay, I put a slice all the way down it here and I'm just going to begin to peel it off. And I can see already the uh, the Panasonic wrapping on the bottom. I, I believe that's what it is anyway. And uh, I may have cut through that as well. Yeah, I did. So again, I may have to wrap it twice. But yeah, and, and, and as I said about this wrap, it is an adhesive wrap. It's it's like a tape. So that's uh, I'm going to be real careful taking that off because here's the the issue. If that ribbon cable from the protection circuit is uh, run across the top of the uh, uh, Panasonic wrap and you rip it all off, you're going to break uh, the uh, actual uh, ribbon cable. So you have to separate it correctly here. So I'm going to do that. And again, I hate this wrap. It's, it's not a nice uh, wrap at all. So not what I would call. I can't wait to put that real shrink wrap on it not this piece of tape they put on it yeah and there's a ribbon cable you see that so that goes all the way up to the actual uh cell uh top well, cell bottom and this protection circuit's under that but and the other thing is like you know this is a metallic sort of mylar on this and it wasn't really a great idea i don't think anyway so just pull it off and as I said, if, you, if you'd have peeled it off with, with the green, you'd have wrecked that uh, little strip of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, metal there or the, the uh, uh, ribbon cable that goes to the top of the cell. So we want to keep that in, in order. So uh, maybe next time I'm going to try not to cut so deep, but it, it's kind of hard because these things are only uh, about a tenth of a millimeter, if not less, thick. So let's continue pulling this off. I want to keep that primary wrap because, you know, even though I've got a cut in it, I think I can still reuse that. All right, there we are, unwrapped to that point. You see the ribbon cable going from the bottom to the top. So yes, there's a protection circuit on the bottom. I'm going to try and maintain that as much as possible. Uh, keep it together. Maybe I'll sneak that wrap back underneath there. And uh, then we're going to rewrap it. So I snuck the uh, shrink wrap off the uh, Panasonic NCR18650B back under the protection circuit here, this black plastic ring. Uh, so it looks okay. Uh, though I did rip the, the actual uh, original um, wrap all the way down from the top to the bottom, uh, it's adhering pretty well. It's holding on nicely and it does perform a function. It's insulating this uh, strip of metal from the uh, protection circuit up to the positive lead on the battery. So I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to leave it on there. And what I'm going to do anyways is rewrap this, put another piece of wrap around it, and that's going to seal this up and it won't be an issue at all. And nice to see again that it's an NCR 18650B Panasonic. This one's made in China. I do have also have some that are made in Japan. So I don't think there's any difference. They both uh, measure out the same way as far as capacity goes. And you can see that the bottom has a little bit more because of the protection circuit and the top has a little bit more too, I believe. So yeah, great to find that out with the Nikkor 3400 uh, NL189, which is what they promised was in there anyway. So now you know. Uh, so I'm going to measure from the um, recessed edge, not from the raised uh, middle, and from that edge to this edge to get uh, a proper measurement for our uh, shrink wrap we're going to use. And let's see what we get on that. Okay, 68 point, well, right on 68. I had 68. I'm gonna go with 68 uh, millimeters. Uh, you, again, I'm using a caliper here, here to be super accurate, but you could use a ruler and get away with it just as well. So 68 millimeters. Um, I don't know what the conversion is here. What's that in inches? Let's go 2.6775 inches or 2 and 81 one twenty eighths uh, of an inch. So, sorry, 87, 128 eighths of an inch. 
So there you, it is the Imperial, but basically what I'm gonna do here is stay in the metric. I'm gonna add uh, to the 68 millimeters, uh, 5.75 millimeters because I want two millimeters overlap on the bottom and uh, or overhang on the bottom and 3.75 millimeters on the top. So that should give me the correct length of uh, wrap for this. So next, uh, we're gonna cut off a piece of that. All right, here's my roll of uh, heat shrink tubing. It's uh, 33 meters. Uh, look in the video description below for links to all this stuff. I paid uh, under $4 for this. I was thinking $3.86, you know, but the price may uh, vary in time. Uh, and it is actually 0.1 millimeters uh, thick, so a tenth of a millimeter. And uh, uh, I measured it out and it, it, it actually comes out perfect, but uh, in thickness. But what we're going to do here is take our 73.75 and basically cut a, 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 a strip of this that's the exact 73.75. I'm sure you get away just fine with a 74 millimeter strip as long as, you know, if all you had was a ruler. Uh, but what really counts in doing this is that you get a nice, nice, straight, even cut from the top to the bottom and the same on the other side. So I'm going to measure that out and then, and then basically cut it out uh, and go from there. I got a nice straight line on that at... Uh, 73.75 and uh, understand also when you're measuring it that it is a it comes off a roll so it'll bow up in the middle and that'll change the length so just press down on it when you're measuring so you get a nice straight line a nice straight piece and uh, then you can cut out, out uh, the section you need with that uh, extra uh, 5.75 or you know if you wanted to if you're using a ruler you probably get away with six millimeters extra but uh, i'm using 5.75 next i'm going to cut a nice straight line across that uh across that and uh don't worry about the marker just use a little bit of alcohol and that'll wipe right off so there we have my section of tubing or, or heat shrink uh and remember the nicer the straighter you cut these uh these ends the, the better result you're going to get uh nice and square nice and straight uh, so next i'm going to open this up uh the sleeve in the center and then slide the uh, uh, this cell into it carefully so again like I said the neater you do this the better um, I'm just uh, like try not to crease it or anything just to uh, be as, as gentle with it as possible so I'm gonna put this into it and then we're gonna go from there and uh, I'm gonna be careful with that original jacket it's a pretty tight tight fit here there we go just like that and like I said always careful with this uh this strip here this is a really important uh piece here you break this this uh protection on the cell is done and like i said it's gonna the, the heat shrink is gonna take care of this split that i cut in the uh, original so i'm just gonna slide it in here i'm gonna measure out two millimeters from the bottom in other words i want an overlap of two millimeters on the bottom and 3.75 on the top all right just like in my last video i'm going to use something heavy and metallic my vice grips here uh, this is to keep it from rolling away when I'm when I'm applying heat to it. It's going to want to do that, and you don't want to hold it too much in your hands because it'll be real hot. I'm using an 1875 watt hair dryer, and at the high setting, it gets pretty warm. Okay, so I've got it spaced out now. I've got two millimeters of overlap or overhang on the bottom, and 3.75 millimeters on the top of overhang. And uh, what we want to do is we want to heat the uh, negative end or the, what I call the bottom, the negative end first and then move yourself your way up to the top. Reason for that is that if you heat up the top, I found that the sleeve has a tendency to creep up in that direction. But if you if you seal the bottom first and work your way to the top, it works perfectly. So that, I'm gonna start on the, on the negative end, work my way to the top. I forgot to mention something. If you're doing this, um, make sure that the insulator is on the top. This one was adhered to the cell, so I didn't have to worry about it like I did on the unprotected cell, but uh, make sure that's there.
All right, that should be it. Let's take a look. Look how nice that is. Beautiful. Nice, even top. Nice shrink all the way around. I like it much better than the original shrink wrapping. Look at the bottom. Got a nice, even seal around the bottom. And uh, basically now I have a totally rewrapped 3400 milliamp uh, uh, Nikkor NL189. Uh, everything on it and you can even see the little the strip here if you can look carefully you'll see the strip here but man did I ever do a good job look at that beautiful can't recommend it high enough okay so I'm gonna put the the uh, supplies you need in the, for this in the video description below including where I got my uh, shrink wrap uh, for under four bucks and uh, you can go ahead and do this I mean I, I seriously recommend it especially uh, seeing what the wrap was like on the original on this thing it's just way better right now I need to get myself a label printer so I can just put a sticker on it so I know what it is as opposed to using a black marker but man look at that beautiful I want to do a little aside here uh, on these actual wraps and another reason why you may want to rewrap your cells uh, even if this the uh, wrap on your cells is fine this is the uh, Nikkor here uh, wrap 0.50 millimeters as you can see there so it's you know quite thin it's uh you know five uh one hundredths of a millimeter so you know basically uh, half a tenth <laughs> all right so that's the uh, nikor um, wrap let's go to the efes wrap that i took off my efes battery it's it feels thicker for sure so let's see uh, what it goes at 0 0.94 0 0.094 millimeters so yes it's definitely thicker almost twice as thick um, here's a wrapper off an NCR 18650B uh, this one actually blew up on me this was the uh, Olight that I over amperaged um, let's take a look and see how thick it is Point seven zero. so two uh, two hundredths of a, a millimeter uh, thicker than the uh, Nikkor tape I would have to say I can't even call that really a wrap it's 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 tape you know it's like a mylar tape that's what was on that Nikkor 3400 uh, milliamp hour cell so there's a 0 .70, 0 .070, 0 0.070 and here's a strip of the uh, uh, PVC shrink wrap that I just used on that same cell 1.09 sorry 0 0.109 so one tenth of a uh, of a, a millimeter uh, and a one one hundredth so much thicker than any one of these uh, other um, you know wraps so it should last longer and protect the cell better and seeing as the wrap is actually a safety feature if you have a rip on uh, any of your wraps or any kind of damage on the wrap you should really seriously consider re uh, replacing it because it, it actually insulates the the negative component of the cell which is the whole outer ca casing so from shorting uh, anywhere to the positive so yeah here's another reason why you want to rewrap your cells um, this, uh, if you get the same cell that I, uh, sorry, the same wrap that I used, and uh, like I said, I'll put links to it in the video description below, um, you'll get a much thicker wrap. And uh, once again, let's have another look at that beauty. Man, so much nicer, so much nicer than that uh, tape that was around this thing. Just beautiful. Well, I can't describe to you enough uh, how much uh, I'm impressed much more impressed by this wrap than the uh, mylar tape that was around the actual cell when I started. Uh, this is just 10 times better. Um, again, if you want to find where to get this stuff, uh, just click on the video description below and uh, I'll supply you the links to the uh, buyer I got, sorry, the seller I bought it from on Amazon. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, and if you follow my procedures, you should get the same results. And uh, the results are seriously stellar. Very nice. All right. Okay, that's it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor. Click on the like button right down here and give me a thumbs up. 
Uh, it helps my channel, helps my video, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, and somewhere else on the screen here, uh, you should see a picture of me. And uh, that picture will be, I believe over here, uh, it's a subscription link. You click on that picture and you'll be subscribed to my channel. And uh, I think there's a bell icon next to it as well. If you click the bell icon, you'll be notified anytime that I put up a new video. And you can watch it at your leisure after that. Okay, and once again, like always, I want to thank you all for watching and for your time.